We begin with the death sentence for a man who killed two police officers in Kissimmee. Loved ones of those fallen officers were in court to hear the verdict. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown is joining us live in studio with their reaction. Gail. Michelle Stewart, this case goes back five years. And families for both the uh, defendant as well as the families themselves of victims sat, listened, and waited in the courtroom for this day, which was packed with people and a lot of emotions. Justice has been served. It's been a very long process. Our family has endured so much. Life will never be the same without Matt. Mia Brown, Officer Matthew Baxter's sister was among family, friends, and Kissimmee police officers who packed an Osceola County courtroom Friday for the sentencing of Everett Miller. Miller was convicted in 2019 for the murders of Kissimmee police officers Sergeant Sam Howard and Matthew Baxter. That same jury recommended death, but the defense had argued that Miller, a former Marine, deserved life in prison. Friday, the judge sentenced Miller to the maximum penalty. As to counts one and two for the murder of Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Richard Sam Howard, I hereby sentence you to death. At the time Officer Matthew Baxter was killed, he had two infant daughters with his wife who also work with the Kissimmee Police Department. The girls are now five and six. We have a long journey ahead and although we have a verdict today and a sentencing, The girls still don't have their daddy. Prosecutors say Officer Baxter was conducting a routine check into three suspicious people in August of 2017 when Miller drove up and started asking why the officer was bothering people. Sergeant Howard responded to the scene and Miller argued with the two officers. Prosecutors say Miller shot Howard and Baxter in their heads and then repositioned both bodies before firing again at their faces. Miller was arrested later that night. We are extremely grateful that justice has been served. Everett Miller's family was also at the sentencing, but declined any on-camera interviews. Everett Miller does have the right to appeal his death sentence. That is something prosecutors say they expect and are prepared for.